action there. Never understood why cheerleaders did that move, where it's like, look at my vagina. It's like, that's not school or team spirit at all. But if it is, that's the school or team that I want to root for. Alright, we can't let the New York Giants start pulling this crap. And he's gone. You know why? Because Mike Singletary's not catching up to him. Look at that. Those guys have no closing speed. You know why? Because Nintendo has decided that, uh... There we go. We'll clap there. That Joe Morris is bringing the Giants back. There's nothing I can do about it. Dude, video games have been... I blocked that. Video games have been cheating for a long, long time. Goes back to... Before... The, uh... You know, all the, like, the Madden and the NCAA games where... People, I guess, finally started calling out the computer for the ridiculous stuff that happens for you to lose to it. Did they call my play and I still got away? Probably not. The computer just decided to make their defense that good on me. Uh-oh, look out, you're in trouble. Is that Will- yeah, it is Willie Galt. I just have to keep throwing quick passes. Because... Well, any of those long passes are getting picked, guaranteed. Ooh, that's not good. That was no gain. And then they guessed my play. Uh-oh. This might decide the game right here. Yeah, I think it did. I just I probably just lost. The Oh, never mind, I forgot. Singletary's a beast. That's three picks, I think. Or is it four? Some stat nerd can watch this and figure it out. Where's Tony Reale when you need him? Not bad by Mac Mahon with the no gainer on that one. I know it's McMahon, so don't think I'm stupid for that. Plenty of other reasons. Oh! See, you can juke on Nintendo. You don't need the triggers and the L1 or whatever the hell any of that is on a PlayStation controller. All you gotta have is magic fingers. So you just gotta keep throwing those quick passes, because you can't fumble in this game. It's like flag football. No fumbling. And that pass was a little scary. I mean, you just, you know, they lob the ball. It's like watching Steven Garcia throw a deep ball. It's like, wow, that's hanging in the air for a long time. Somebody just ran a route at the end of that. Like, too late, buddy. They're... Ooh, that was long... That was nimble. Nimble. By Jim McMahon. Who undoubtedly broke the BYU honor code millions of times, but you know, Charlie Davies is the one who gets shit on for it. Alright. All I'm gonna do is make a stop here, hold him for a quarter. McConkey. That, that just sounds like the name of somebody who ate glue as a child. Don't ask me why. I know these things. So the point, or what I'm trying to do here with the Russian game is the same that I try and do with a classy lady, which is not to attack the hole right away. You gotta kind of dance around outside of it for a minute, figure out, you know, what direction everything's flowing, and then you try and pounce later on. Or you could just do like uh, Mike Singletary did and just, you know, be a giant black man and just start ravaging things. I don't have that luxury, unfortunately, but oh well. You work with what you got. And yeah, again, I know I have a shitty TV, but...
I wasn't going to put a flat screen or a plasma or any of that kind of stuff in the dorm room. I'm not a Rockefeller. That's good. Who runs a route out of bounds? Okay, we're down to a minute. If the uh, earmuffs. The Giants are going to pull this game out of their ass. They're probably going to want to stand up. See how far that goes. I can't change players. Look at that! Inside the five! You can't teach that. I can't see too well. Was that Ray Guy? I don't know why they're running the ball. That's right, because on... Mmm! There it is. There it is. That's like the double stuff. Sometimes you gotta meet him in the hole. Ooh, he just shook uh, Mike Singletary. Answers the age-old question. If Mike Singletary was on your back, would you beat him off? Joe Morris did. Oh, no. That's why they're running the ball. The one thing that's I've got on my side is the no onside kick in this game. I think in Tecmo Super Bowl you could. I totally laid out the holder on that one. He's probably that pussy Phil Sims. He raised a great son, didn't he? Both in quarterbacking, who only played ahead of Major Applewhite because of Daddy's name, and uh, as a person as well, as he's uh, gotten in a little bit of trouble, all while being a horrible quarterback. It's one of those kind of things where if he had won a Heisman at Texas, or if he were any good in the pros, he would have, you know, gotten away with that. You know, you can drive high if you're good. You can also uh, drive drunk and kill someone if you're Dante Stallworth and just totally get away with it. Really makes me wish I'd taken football more seriously as a young boy. Be living the high life. If time runs while I punt, then we're in good shape. Because that thing's going about 70 yards at least, and it's going to take all day. Look at that. Two punts inside the 10. Not only that, but down goes McConkie, that cock sucker. And guess what? Dub Bears, world champs, undoubtedly Mike Ditka riding the shoulders of his players to victory. Do we get the roster? Or something special? Look at that hideous trophy. That doesn't even have a base to it. There we go, 1980. Look at that Cap Bozo. He made a great catch in there. Ron Morris, who writes for the state paper and is a dickhead. Not the same. Van Horn. Uncle of Keith Van Horn, oddly enough. Look at that Monsters in Midway. Ron Rivera, head coach of uh, the Carolina Panthers now. Steve Mongo McMichael of the Four Horsemen. Saw Refrigerator Perry on there of my, uh, my hometown of Aiken, South Carolina. Oh, of course. You can't forget the programmer, which should, I think, have two M's. Akihiko, which, uh... KY Jet, um, make your own jokes there. You know what? We're not going to go through all this. Oh, I can't do anything about it. So, uh, yeah, that's the, uh, the championship. I believe the next game we'll be doing is Denver-Dallas. So, tune in for that.